Causality, Distributed Asynchronous Modeling Work in Progress Experiment. They say if you feel froggy, you should just jump up. So I guess this, you might say this is my uh, demonstration of feeling froggy. As I said in the, in the last video, I think I've pretty much figured out how to do uh, DAM in um, causality in conjunction with something. And, and presently, I think that something is a Rom graph. So what this experiment is, is I'm currently looking for a number of individuals who don't believe that modeling is an unnatural act, who would like to participate in, first, developing a set of guidelines so that a group of guidelines for a group of people to follow who are doing uh, DAM modeling, I love that DAM modeling, uh, in a manner that allows them to be effective and efficient, to not to destroy each other in the process, leave breadcrumbs for others to follow. So first there needs to be a definition of what the guidelines ought to be, and I could just go do this, though I think that I'm not nearly as smart as we are collectively, so I'm looking for volunteers to participate, contribute to developing this set of guidelines, and part of the information is, or the, the guidelines themselves are being developed in causality, so you might say that it's a, a dam process to develop a set of dam guidelines for the dam process, rather circular in, in construction. And in conjunction with that this causality model, there will be numerous other ones in the future, there is an associated a causality or a rum graph called DAMWIP, the purpose of which is to be the associated place where documentation happens that's not actually in the model itself. Uh, presently, it's not possible to develop the notes about the individual loops that are in a model that are developed in causality so they can be put in projects in the Rome graph. The Rome graph is set up so that it's publicly visible and individuals who are participating in projects will be able to contribute to various aspects of the Rome graph as appropriate. It's not diff in other words, it's it's extremely trivial to figure out how to use rum. It's a place you just type stuff into on different pages. So that when you get when you initially go here in the notes section of this video, there is a link to a uh, a causality um, playlist of all the videos I've developed about everything I understand about causality to this point, and there the uh, and a link to this rum graph where you can read the purpose and you can look at at the content and the various pieces that are defined to this point with more on the way and it's sort of an experiment in understanding so that once a, a group of people sort of nails down the guidelines if you want to participate, you go ahead and let me know. Send me an email at systemswiki dot, at systemswiki at gmail com, and we'll get you set up so that you have access to contribute to the guidelines and contribute to the the uh, the Rome graph. And once the guidelines are relatively well established, the participants will figure out some number of of topics that they want to develop models on to further their shared understanding of those topics. Um, Eric Gents in the uh, self-evolving universe or something like that talked about our experiences are somewhere between total confirmation of what we know and, and, and total novelty. And on the curve that, that goes from one to the other, there's, there's experiences that we have and the experiences that we have are an opportunity for learning. And learning is what happens when we extend the patterns of understanding. All we have are 
are models of what we understand. And when we extend those models, extend the patterns of understanding, we actually learn. So the idea here is an experiment in, in collective learning, and we'll see how it works out. And maybe it works and maybe it doesn't, though um, I don't believe in trial and error. I believe in trial and learning, and that's what this is. So if you're interested in participating, uh, my email is in the notes section of the video, along with links to these things so that you can look at them more extensively, and we'll see how this goes. So take care, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.